this point on, is where the water is regulated. This is the discharge monitor. The water coming out here is supposed to be regulated. We're going to take a sample. Okay. Uh, this is a, a permitted area, so any water from this point up can be polluted and the state agencies or the EPA cannot do anything about it because the only regulation is is when it comes out of this pipe there's a discharge monitor pipe here and when it comes out of that pipe it's supposed to meet regulation uh, my concern is that is anywhere on this mountain or this pond it's it's poison water animals are drinking it on Memorial Weekend, uh, starting on a Thursday, I came down to my garage and seen the water was running like orange juice. Um, I went back home to the phone, called the emergency response team for the Division of Water, uh, reported polluted water. The next day I come down, it was still orange juice, so I called them back asked them what they found out. They, they said they did not respond and would not respond. So I called the DMRE, which is Department of Mines Reclamation and Enforcement, talked to the inspector, and he advised me to call his supervisor that he wasn't in the area. Uh, I called his supervisor, left a voice message, have not heard from him even to today. Uh, I waited till Sunday. I came back to the stream. It was still running the same way, orange, pollution. Uh, you gotta realize this water is running into a municipal water system that supplies everybody in this county with, with water. And I called them back and told them I wanted to report it again. It'd been running like that for three days. So they're keeping this adjusted now on a daily basis uh, because of my complaining and violations. Uh, they got into four violations in three months. That's called a pattern of violations, uh, which is a serious thing, but I wasn't involved in that negotiations with the state and the coal company, even though out of the four violations, I've reported it three times.